This is Togrim, and you are watching my fifth Warrior PvP video for Rift. Once you get into the upper 20s, you can move into the Scarlet Gorge zone, which is the first shared zone be between both factions, and it's the first place where I've really experienced World PvP, and it's been a blast. So, in this video, I'm running around with my friend Kaz. He's a 31 Cleric, I'm a 29 Warrior. And we come upon a Guardian raid that is fighting Rift Invasion, and foolishly we expose ourselves to too much open line of sight and they end up zerging us and burning us down. This is like a 2 versus 9, it's just ugly. So we go ahead and res and come around, we're a little more car uh, careful this time. And we're just hoping to draw attention to the few of the players, so eventually I get targeted here and they start shooting back, so this is a Rift Blade Warrior that's shooting me. So we go ahead and kite around the building. So it's me and Kaz, and Kaz is the druid, so he's got his fairy healer with us. And we get a warrior who we both um, immediately attack. It's a level 26 warrior. Looks like he's a rift blade. He might be paladin like me. We burn him down, and we switch to the cleric. And I come over to the cleric and smack her with a face slam. Uh, face slam is a great paladin ability. You get it with a minimal point investment, and it gives you a an interrupt on a six second cooldown. The main catch I found as a rift blade is just having enough power to be able to use it. So, um, and then we get uh, attacked here by this rift blade, this champion rift blade two-handed wielder and he just obliterates me and he's I can't see his level just as question mark question mark but Kaz says he's level 40 and we end up fighting him again so we rest on the other side of the building this time and the guardian raid is still very busy with this rift and invasion they're trying to clear out a guardian town so I start attacking and then Jintro that level 40 champion rift blade um, attacks me. You can see I just get bombed. Watch my health bar right there. Boom. It drops all the way down to one hit point. So I immediately hit touch of life for the full heal. And then Jintro switches over to Kaz, who's a uh, melee cleric healer. So um, I use freeze armor on Jintro to snare him and then apply stone shield for the root right here. And thankfully in this game, you know, in some games if you're like level 29 or 30 like we are and you're fighting someone 10 levels higher, it's an instant death sentence. But in this case at least we have a chance and we do burn him down. I did make a mistake there. I used my Paladin stun too late. I probably should have used, used it much earlier. I thought the Stone Spear would be enough to root the Warrior and buy enough time for Kaz, but I guess wrong since the Rift Blade, since the Champion Rift Blade spec um, does have some ranged DPS. So um, I hop on this Ranger here who's being attacked by the Rift mobs and I kill him. Uh, this is Flare. So, you know, there's like about a dozen players down there, so I have to be pretty careful. And then I track some of the Guardian. Um, townspeople NPCs, so they're attacking me, so I'm kiting away, and then I managed to find some friendlies NPCs here. And then Jintro, that warrior, comes back. Now remember, he's level 40, and I'm level 29, so he's got a massive uh, level advantage on me. So I go ahead um, go ahead and snare him, or sorry, root him with Stone Spear, um, get a 3-stack Rift Surge on him, and then I just managed to burn him down with the help of these NPCs. Now the really funny thing is, Jintro's last attack I blocked for 120 health, and you can see my health actually dropped below 100, so if I hadn't blocked that last attack, I would have died. But as it was, um, I eked my way out of there with just a bare minimum of health and then rode away. So this is more fighting in Scarlet Gorge in another section of the map. And so um, we burned down that board there. And then this is a Paragon Rift Blade spec warrior who's attacking me. And I'm trying to maintain a frontal facing as much as possible to block and parry his attacks. Um, and I use Touch of Life there again. It really is a great ability. Um, you get it for, I think, 8 points invested in the paladin tree and it's a full heal on a 10 minute cooldown but for pvp it's a clutch ability i think really the, the ideal low level investment for paladin is 11 points um, for 11 points you get a ranged stun um, you get a passive hp boost you get a hp buffing gift to other players and you get face slam um, you get a lot of fun ability so right here you can see i'm almost dead so i root this uh... this is a rift boss for stage one and you know normally he'd be easy to kill um, but we're in the middle of fighting, so I'm kiting away and letting Kaz um, hop me up over time and heal me. So uh, while I'm kiting, I happen to see this uh, rogue, so I go ahead and jump him from behind and burn him down. And that um, rift boss is still following me, so at this point I can stop and can fight him. And uh, a friendly um, defiant caster mage comes over and sends his pet to help fight the, uh, the boss, so we go ahead and kill him. And I'm almost dead here. This NPC aggro's on me, so I come over and face slam to interrupt the first stun. I'm sorry, first cast, and then I stun to interrupt the second cast. So, um, Paladin's a good secondary tree for Rift Blade, in my opinion. As you can see, it provides a lot of utility. Um, you know, Rift Blade is my main tree, but I really like Paladin as well.